hurt me, you know I don't got no fear My vision was so blurry, you ain't worthy, now it's clear You can see the pain How's it going say YouTube? So I went through my videos recently, and I found a cloning effect I would like to share with you guys. We're going to be executing it using different footage today, just to show you guys how simple it is. In order to pull this off, the footage for the effect has to be shot on a tripod. You can see the footage that I'm going to be using is completely stable. I'm going to be going through the footage, and I'm going to be taking out two different scenes. One scene with him more towards the right side, and one scene with him towards the left side. I'm going to speed it up so you guys don't have to sit for the entire process. After placing the second clip into the timeline, you're just going to want to click on the first clip and lift it from the storyline if you haven't already. I'm going to remove the audio just for the sake of this video. The next thing that you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the top layer clip. You're going to want to go into the effects settings panel and you're going to want to go to crop. In this case for my footage I'm going to be cropping from the right. I drag it to where the clips almost blend completely. After that you want to go to the effects search panel and search for a shape mask. What the shape mask allows you to do is blend the scenes together. You're going to want to drag the shape mask onto the top layer. Now you guys are going to resize the mask and just shape it around the object. Next thing you guys are going to want to do is just bring the feather up. As you guys can see, the top layer is a little bit darker than the bottom layer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back into the effects search panel. And we're going to search for a color correction. We're going to drag and drop the color correction onto the top layer. After that, you want to go back into the effects settings panel and click on color correction. Hit exposure and bring up the exposure to your likeness. For your footage, it may vary. And here's the final project. Please feel free to leave a like and a comment if you do like the video. If you guys do have any more questions for me, you can always send me a direct message through YouTube or you can click on my email provided below within the bio.